All right, I want to talk about formatting. Now, I'm not big into formatting uh, in spreadsheets. I'd rather you concentrate on functionality, making numbers work, and designing the spreadsheet for functionality. But that being said, it doesn't hurt to know a little bit about formatting. And this is also similar to Microsoft Word, some of what we're going to look at here. So it shouldn't be completely new to you, and it should be hopefully fairly easily. Um, easily done. So I just want to talk about a couple of things. First of all, we can change column widths, and you can do that by dragging. You can you can change multiple column widths by uh, just uh, highlighting those columns, and you can um, change all of those by changing one of them if they're all selected. Don't want to do that. Don't know what that happened there. If you select them all, you can do that. You can also uh, double click if you've selected all of these columns. For example, you can double click in here. And it will automatically change all the selected columns to uh, the optimal width or the maximum width of the the width of the maximum sized item. So that's handy to know. You can do the same thing with rows. You can change uh, rows so that they're a different width as well. For example, by doing something like that, it changed them all. Uh, I'm going to just undo those. You don't have to worry too much about rows as much as you do columns most of the time. So anyway, that's a quick look at how to change column widths. There's other ways of doing that in row, row widths. Uh, and we'll look at some other things that happen automatically when we do some wrapping. So um, a couple of things we're going to need to look at. First of all, let's look at concentrate on this font area. We can change fonts in here. Uh, same sort of functionality you have with Word. You can make the font bigger, smaller. You can change the color of the font itself, or you can change the, the color of the cells. So I have all of these selected right now. And if I want to make, for example, the cell background color, I can uh, a light blue, I can come in here and do something like that. Uh, if I wanted to change all of the text there to be um, uh, a dark blue, something like that, um, I could come in here like this, or maybe make it orange. I'll do that for now. Orange. So you got orange text, and you got a fill color that is um, blue. Now we'll talk about um, other things in font. You can boldface, you can italicize, you can underline, um, and as I mentioned, you can make the font size bigger. Um, one thing we can concentrate on a little bit is is um, once you've got a spreadsheet created, you might want to make it look better by coming in here and um, using some of these borders that you have in here, for example. Uh, you can say I want um, all borders, and it will put borders in between all of the um, cells that you've got selected. So if we did that over here, for example, we did all borders. And now that I've selected all borders once, that's what's deep by default up there. So if I click on that, it does all borders. Uh, if you want to get rid of borders, you can say no border, and it takes out the borders. Uh, if you want to put a thick outside border, for example, you could do that. And I click off of that, and you can see I've got a thick outside border around what I've selected. I'd selected this. So you get a thick outside border on that. If you want to put, uh, actually put a border, uh, borders and a thick outside border, you would have to do all borders first. And that gets rid of your thick outside border because it applies to each cell. And then you have to come back in here and do a thick box border around the whole thing to do something like that. Um, well, let's talk about alignment for a second. Uh, we've got some alignment buttons up here. So if I just clicked on uh, A4 here, for example, and I wanted to align that uh, to the right, I would click here to align right, and it just aligns it in that cell. Click here to align it to the left. Click here to center. So this is horizontal alignment, back and forth this direction. We also have a alignment here, which is uh, vertical alignment. Now, it doesn't do. It wouldn't make any difference in this particular case to do vertical alignment because the cell is uh, as wide as it, it, it is only as wide as the text that's in it. But if we made this cell bigger. You can see what vertical alignment does. Right now, this is aligned to the bottom. Do you see how the buttons uh, mimic what you have below? This is aligned to the bottom. If you want, I'm clicked on this cell, and if you want to align it to the top, you click here. If you want to align it to the middle, you click here, or it's centered vertically. So the combination of all of these things in here can really get you exactly what you want. You can get, let's say you wanted it centered vertic uh, horizontally, but you wanted it to the bottom vertically or centered vertically and centered horizontally. So those are some things you can do. Um, a couple of, th I'm going to um, just kind of undo those. Get it back to where we had it. And what I want to do is to talk about merging, um, not merging, I'll come to that in a second. Um, talk about wrapping uh, cells. Let's say we have Hong here and uh, let's say Hong's last name is when 
Okay, when I when I type this in, you can see it's Hong Nguyen up here, but when I press enter, only Hong shows up. I could change the width, but if you have very long names and you and you change the width of all of these columns, it'll really stretch things out and make it hard to read. You don't really want a bunch of wide columns like this. What you'd rather do probably is to wrap this around. Now there's a wrap text button right here. And if you click it once, it'll wrap the text. If you click it again, it'll, it'll unwrap the text. In this case, Hong Nguyen will not wrap because it is not, um, it, it doesn't fill the cell. But if I pull it back over here, and then I click here, and I click to wrap the text, notice what it does. It wraps the text based on the width that I have here, uh, and it changed the width of the row. So um, I can adjust the, the width a little bit to make it look a little better. But you can play around with that to see what happens when you wrap the text around it. So if I wanted to wrap the text, let's, let's add Mary Jones in here. Let's add Sally Smith. And let's add Juan Hernandez. So I've got all of those in here. If I want, let me go ahead and um, I'm going to take the width of these. I'm by double clicking in here, it'll make it as wide as the widest one is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the width in a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to make all of these wrap. I can highlight all of them at the same time if I want to and tell it to wrap that selected uh, set of cells. Now Hernandez is still wrapping a little too much, so there we go. I like something like that. Now I can double click right here. Uh, between two rows uh, three and four, and, th and that will automatically size the row uh, to the to the widest uh, cell that I have. In this case, they're smaller than they were, so uh, it'll it'll um, uh, pull clean this up a little bit by, by taking out that extra space by double clicking. So you can double click to remember what double clicking does. It auto fits whatever you've got in that cell. It'll close up that cell, tighten it up to fit the widest item that you have, whether it's the cell, uh, the row width, or whether it's a column width. So that's uh, a way that we can do wrapping. Now next, what I want to do is I want to talk about um, merging. Okay, I don't like to merge cells together because you can really get into problems sometimes um, when you're trying to copy and cut and paste and uh, work with certain formulas. They don't work with cells that are merged. But I need to introduce it to you because a lot of people um, know about it and will do it. And you'll encounter spreadsheets in the job market. Um, when you're out on the job, you'll encounter spreadsheets that have merged cells. And you'll need to know what to do with them. And occasionally, you might want to merge a cell. Let's just say that I have a, um, a, a title here. And the title of this is Grade Book American History Uh, summer, um, uh, Kilgore College, whatever this college happens to be. All right, so that is a uh, a cell, and that cell actually is all of this is in A1. If you look, here's Gradebook American History Summer, uh, Kilgore College, and it's all in A1. If I click on B1, there's actually nothing there, but this um, goes across and and just uh, wraps over into into column B and column C and column D. If you ever put something in B, it'll stop wrapping over. Like if I said AAA and I press enter, uh, this doesn't continue over. But I'm, I'm not too worried about that. But what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to I want to merge this cell and make it one cell. A1 will actually go all the way over here to column E. It'll be one cell. And I can click this button, Merge and Center, or I can choose what I want it to do, Merge Across, Merge Cells. I just usually click Merge and Center because that's what I want. And what it did was it merged those cells. So there is no B1 right now. If I click there, I can't go to B1. There is only an A1. You see, this is cell A1. There is no B1. I merged uh, A1 across columns B, C, D, and E. You can do that with rows as well. Um, so you may occasionally need to do that. I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, it is something that you'll see. So be aware of it. That's called merging. Now, how do you unmerge? You simply click on the cell that's merged, and you click here uh, to on the merge and center. It's unmerged. Now, one thing about this, if I merge this, I can merge and center, then the alignment can, can still take place. If I want it to align to the left, I can do that. If I want to, uh, to align this to the bottom, I just made that row wider to illustrate. But I can um, 
you know, put it to the bottom, to the middle, same as I can any other cell. So sometimes you want to do that. Some people might want to make the, the, the font size bigger and then wrap the text. And then you've got a, a pretty nice little heading uh, at the top of your page. Anyway, that's all on um, formatting. What we looked at there was borders, merging and unmerging. We talked about aligning and fonts and colors and wrapping. So those are the main things you're going to encounter when you're trying to format cells, at least labels. We didn't talk about formatting numbers. We did that earlier.